Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to set up my 2024 socials journal. I'm really excited to get started with this. If you haven't watched my videos before, my socials journal is somewhere where I capture all the memories from YouTube and Instagram. It's This has become a huge part of my life. It's my hobby. And I just, I really enjoy it, but I also really enjoy being able to look back at it. So what I posted and when, when I was filming, when I was editing, um, milestones along the way, statistics. And I used to do it as part of my memory planner, but I separated it out last year and I did it in an Archer and Olive A5. And there's a whole playlist of this up, I'll link it below if you're interested. Um, and I did it in here and I really love that, but as you can see, I've upped the size this year because I felt a bit crammed in doing A5. So this is an Erin Condren 8 by 10. It's a canvas theme, like pattern, so it's like a blank slate. And it's a vertical layout. As well as having all my memories, a thing that I do and I'm continuing with this year is having an overarching theme. And then I take little bits of that theme and make differences within it. For example, I just did Christmas coffee as my December theme, but the overarching theme for last year was coffee. So the theme this year is stationery, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory in that I do stationery hauls and planning and journaling, and I'm obsessed with stationery, so I thought it would be a fun theme. Unlike last year where I thought of the themes as I went along, you know, I knew it was coffee, but I thought of each monthly specific part as I went along. This year I've sat down and planned out my entire year of stationary themes for each month and done lots of prep work so that I can just, like today, I've done loads of prep work for my setup and I can just sit down now and enjoy doing it and it's one less sort of thing I have to think about. Anyway, let's get started with a setup. So this first page is going to be my cover page and even though we're doing stationary, the actual setup, I'm going to use the vintage stationery theme. This is from Hobman and Chub Girl, and it's perfect. Well, I'm not going to use this kit, but I just lifted this out because I have it all together. Um, but you can see it has a little raccoon. You could be journaling or planning, but it also has photography in it with cameras and different types of vintage stationery. So it hits the nail on the head for me and my channel with the planning and journaling, filming, and then all the different types of stationery within it because it is a stationery theme. And it has a matching washing. So there's the little raccoon one, and then the 10 millimeter that goes with it. And then as well as that, she gives you free digitals every month. And this was November 2023 theme. So I was able to go in and create specific things that I have cut out over here to put in. So like I said, I'm not gonna use the kit. I'm gonna pull these out. So I have these sort of faux wax seal stickers. I have these stickers, vintage faves and vintage stationery. And you've got mail. And then there's a journaling card that says you've got mail. And then for the font within this planner, because we're going vintage here, I thought I would do typewriter font. So I bought this in the typewriter font from Planner Monkey Co. And then I also have these two brown ones um, for 2024 and 2025 that go as well with that kind of color scheme. And then when I saw this um, last year's, you saw it if you saw my planner set up. We have one that looks like this and it says this planner belongs to and you have a little emoji and I used it in my planner and I used some of them last year but this year she released this belongs to which is perfect because it's a, not a planner, I don't do any planning in this but also it's surrounded in stationery so it's like she read my mind. So I thought that's perfect and I'm going to then as well as the cursive font I chose for my pl main planner but there's some typewriter font that I can use for this. So I'm gonna just put on a bit of music and work away at getting this little opening spread done. I wanna take you out, show you 
time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love So I'll leave that there for now and then see if I want to come back and add anything to it but I really love how that turned out so let's do this is just getting left blank and then here we have theme spread so this is where I'm going to cover the month with a little Polaroid in that type that I just did that on Keynote and put that free digital inside it so I have one for each month and that'll show then what the themes are and then I'll write what my overarching theme for the planner is here and get my little title down and then each month I can add until we get to the end of the year. Baby, you've been driving me crazy for so statistics and I love to keep track of them even though it's not why I do it um, or anything like that um, it's just fun to have a little goal say you think about me because I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when side of the world I'm here and I'm waiting but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reason still I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon that one ready to get filled out as the year goes on 
Now, this one I want to do milestones. So rather than specific watchers, subscriptions and Instagram followers, followers, I'm going to do anything big that happens throughout the year. But I'm going to cover this side. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the double spread. Um, and this goes straight into the monthly. However, if I end up with more milestones, I can always go to the back and create another milestone spread. That's no big deal. And I printed out this big picture to cover this and I'll have to just use tip x on the edges and I thought this was perfect with a little raccoon with a camera so let's get the milestone spread done space now for milestones what I'm going to do is go to the back I don't need a future log it's not a planner for me as I mentioned and I don't like the way this page is glued anyway so I'm going to stick it together da -da, da -da, da -da. I love the noise of this. <laughs> oh. I could sit and glue things all day and listen to it. There, right. So I have this very back spread. My last one of these, I'm gonna have to order some more. Hopefully I have enough to do what I need to do. I'm gonna gonna have this here. This is just for fun, this back page. There's no other reason. And then this here. But I want you not going to put anything else up here just yet if I feel like it I will but I'm just going to leave it blank for now it was just a little touch on the back of the page this here I want to put on this first notes page where are you um because it says you've got mail and I thought it would be perfect to mark any collaborations I have and then I can do here 2024 collaborations I just don't want to write it in yet in case I don't get any <laughs> because it's not guaranteed. But I want to put this in anyway. I'm sure I will, but I'll put the title in when I get my first one because if I don't get it, then I can repurpose it and use this notes page for something else. Maybe more milestones or, um, I don't know, whatever I need it for. A bit like the way the notes pages were in my 2023 socials journal so I'm going to put this up at the corner and then over here I'll put my last little camera that I printed for filming the collab I'll move this out of the way and it might take a bit more pages but like I say I'll play it by ear I'm just setting this up now because it's definitely something I like to commemorate this year I had my first ever collab with Hubman and Chub Girl. I'll put another little postman, which is another reason why this is perfect because it covers the Happy Meal aspect as well. And I'll put him up here. There, that'll do for now, but I have plenty. I have all these leftovers um, that I can use when I use this kit. 
and then I have plenty of washi left and then I have the digitals. So I will be setting up January really soon so you'll see what I'm going to be using the sections for um, and I'll stick down my theme sticker for there. So you get a blank page I have here and because it's canvas it's really easy if I do want to cover. Um, I have a monthly and then I have this dashboard section that I'm going to make use of and then I have the vertical layout. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. First time Bye. I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room